As you can see, I emptied the area from the books. I made this another video because, okay, the first one is around 15, 6, 17 minutes, I don't know. And this is the, the video I will just want to focus on a few tips that will separate the student who is studying a lot and the student who is learning a lot and pass the exam. Because you can study 20 hours per day and you can get with these hours, you can almost get the same information with someone who's studying 16 hours per day or even 12 hours per day. The truth is that you need many hours for anatomy. That's the true thing, I cannot disagree with that. But the thing is, yeah, you have also life. So I'm gonna tell you some tips that now that you are like close to your exam, you should do just to get more perfect with less hours. Maybe you don't wanna do something else, but you have to learn how to use the hours correctly. So I'm gonna separate in the group, you have four groups, okay? Group A, group B, group C, group D, and the X-rays. And I'm gonna tell you what to do for each one in order to know it perfect. That you don't need anything else. It's like bam, that is what I need to pass and to know anatomy. But now that this is the last 10 days you, you aim to pass. Okay. So group A, musculoskeletal system. What you should do, if you haven't done already, do it, I think it's gonna be helpful. What you should know generally. Do you, do you think, wait, uh, okay, I had very easy questions, it's all, also about that, but now it doesn't work for you anymore. Do you think that if you go to and you pick a bone, do you think they're gonna ask you which bone it is? No, you know that. Probably you know that they're gonna ask you the features of the bone. Acetabulum, humerus, grooves, and stuff like that. Do you think it's enough? No, it's not enough. You know what else they're gonna ask you? Which muscle attaches to this bone? Which muscle inserts to this bone? Which muscle originates from this bone? Maybe what's the muscle of the uh, what's the function of this muscle? What's the muscle of this function? Okay, so not the only is gonna ask you probably what I told you. You have to know all of them. How to learn all of them? One way. This way. This way and the Nautilus. And that's it. That's the first group. Except of the hernias. We have to read a bit more. Second thing, let's go to group B now. So ah, you have to go to the, you have to go and practice that in the bone. You cannot go with a radical knowledge in the exam. Okay. Group B. Group B is very important for the robot. Probably you know already. What you should do? This is this trick. It saves up some time, and I'm gonna tell you why. Let's say that I, you have to describe something. You have to describe that this is behind this. Okay, so you, you, what you're gonna read in the book? You're gonna read gross anatomy and structure of the human and your nervous system is sitting in front of the anatomy locomotor of, of human locomotor system. Blah blah blah. This is what you're gonna read in a book. But how you're gonna remember with just like one glance that this one is sitting in front of this? If you see it. If you, I read you that, how many days you're gonna remember? One day, two days, but if you see it, you see it again and again every day, then you remember that this book is sitting in front of this. So what I did, last five days, last week maybe, and I did also a bit in this section. I was taking a big, big, a big picture in my netters. This is why I told you that netters is an important book. You take a, a picture like in the one in the page uh, let me find one. Okay, this is, per this is what I use exactly. You take, go to page 316. Okay, this one. And you see what is happening here. You see the ureter is passing behind the uh, testicular artery, testicular vein. The right testicular vein comes out of the inferior and the cava, but the left testicular vein is coming out of the left renal vein, these things, that the renal vein is passing be uh, below the superior mesenteric artery, this thing, you cannot remember if you read them, you have to see them to remember, you have to know these things, because I'm gonna ask you in the robot, where, which question is correct of them, the renal artery, the right renal artery is arising from right renal vein, bam, wrong, 
the right renal artery, uh, renal vein is a. Uh, I don't know. It's it's coming. Uh, it's a um, draining to inferior vena cava. Correct. One point. One point, and you need twelve. And there can be three of them, or two of them questions like that. I don't want to scare you, but they're asking this question in my robot, and I did it wrong that question because it was difficult question if you haven't specifically look at this part. It was how the the uterine artery was passing with the with the ureters, and then it's difficult. It's a detail, and you have to be really good to know such details. And how you gonna you can read them twenty times. Maybe you will remember after the times you will, but you can see the picture three times and you will remember that. And this is why I think it's very important to do. And I recommend that to a friend of mine who probably was watching this video right now and he passed the robot. Maybe not because of that, probably because because he said it. But I think that's a good way and you can understand that. So I recommend to two guys and they did that and they passed. But this is not enough. Okay, that's about group B. This is you can learn a lot of stuff in fast. What about group C? Your anatomy. First, as you know, you have to know, okay, and this is why it's important to have this book finally. That, that's why it's important. These schemes. Memorize them. You have to know these schemes by heart. Revise them every night. How many minutes? Two minutes it takes. Two minutes to revise the schemes. All these schemes of the book you have to know. Because even the other examiners are knowing the schemes. So you have to know the schemes inside this book. Maybe the information you can get somewhere else, but the schemes have to be read from here. That's one thing. Second scheme. And second thing. In, this, in the lectures of the Bobby, you can find the schemes for each cranial nerve. Know them by heart. Know all the branches. Know how it goes to the brain. With Netter, also, it's really good. You can combine them together and you will, you will learn a lot of stuff. Facial nerve, you have to know everything about facial nerve. The branches. The nuclei. The, how they maybe I don't know, I don't know if that's so important but definitely the nuclei where it's coming out of the brace and where it's coming out of the skull this is very important things you have to know for group C and group D this one that's it and you learn everything and this is how you pass anatomy and and I promise you there's no such a happiness as passing anatomy you passing the robot you never feel so happy never. No, maybe when you get married or something like that, or when your children get married, or when you find out that uh, you want some joker, I don't know. But it definitely is great happiness. I don't remember myself, okay, in physiology was a big problem, but uh, I don't remember myself in my first 20, 20 years, I've been so happy like when I passed out. And you, you, might, you should know that, you should know that it's very nice to pass, pass it. This green box appearing there is great. Good luck with your exams. Uh, you know who I am, the ones from Master University. If you want any question, any motivational speech, let me know. I'm uh, well, happy to help you. By, by the way, it's something last. Um, I, don't, I don't try to be as smart as. Uh, I've been he helping with anatomy from my second year until my fourth year. And I know what you have been through. And just like, whatever you want, you can ask me. But my knowledge is not so good as it used to be. Goodbye. I have books because I want to read through, you know, find the important stuff. Destillate the books. It's already destillated. It's like, I, I like to drink wine, I like to drink vodka. This is your choice. Then we have the third book, this one. Gross Anatomy and Structure of the Human Nervous System. And here comes the big problem. You know, this was written by Peter Dubov. Who is examining Peter Dubov? What should I read if I'm smart? Peter Dubov. But, the book is not good. <laughs> it's true. Like, everyone knows that. It's like a common truth around that this book is not good.